Need an all-in-one travel adapter to power all your devices on the go? Well, the folks at Epica sent me some products to review, and here's what I think. Full disclosure before we get into the video, Epica did send me these units, but they did not pay me to say anything, and they see this video the same time you guys do. So I, I make these videos for you guys and want full transparency and authenticity on this channel, so hopefully that means something to you because it means something to me. First we have the 70 watt TA-105 Pro Universal Travel Adapter, currently listed at $49.99. US dollars as of recording this video. Plus, it comes in two colors, black and white. Quick overview of the specs. This includes four different plugs that adapts to more than 200 countries and regions. AC outlet adapts to 10 types of plugs from other countries, giving you three USB-C ports and two USB-A ports to change your devices. They also mentioned that this is cruise friendly, so that's a huge bonus for those looking for something that will work on your cruise vacation. On the product listing from their website, they note that this adapter does not convert voltage and to make sure that the AC powered device that you want to use supports dual voltage. To my understanding, look for 100 to 240 volts or 50 to 60 hertz in your device's specs and you should be good to go. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please, because I would like to know. <laughs> Next, we have the 20 watt pocket 111 universal travel adapter, currently listed at $19.99 US dollars and only comes in one color option. This all-in-one adapter, like the other one, is equipped with four different plug types for over 200 countries. The smaller and lighter design weighing at 2.6 ounces can easily fit in your pocket this one gives you a single USB-C port and a USB-A port. This one unfortunately is not cruise friendly and also does not have surge protection. For more specifications on these products, I will link the product listings directly from their website down in the description below. It lists way more information on what types of plugs and configurations work in their respective countries. So before you get this for your trip, make sure they will work for your destination. Quick disclaimer, I haven't gotten the chance to actually use these products in other countries, so I can only really speak on overall design choices and build quality. So I can't tell you a real world experience with using them and how they performed, but best believe when I do travel to other countries one day, I will definitely have these in my bag. Again, this is not a full review for these products, but hopefully my thoughts can help you decide whether this is the right product for you. My first impressions of these adapters is a really, really smart design. I don't wanna sound like an old infomercial here, but imagine traveling to multiple different countries and you have to bring like four different big O adapters for your laptop and then all the other devices you have. The way that all the different prongs just slide in when you're not using it is very nice for putting into bags and, and making it compact to, to put away. The 70 watt adapter is perfect for my 16 inch MacBook Pro, and I could also charge multiple other devices on it at the same time, which will happen on a trip, I guarantee. The smaller one is about the size of an AirPods Pro case and is a standard 20 watt, which is more for like phones and iPads. One of the smaller details of these products that I, I really love is this clever design for the US and Australia plug. To switch between the two, you just turn the prongs. Also for the smaller one, there's this little prong that flips out for the UK plug and flips back very nicely when you don't need it. These small little ways that they incorporated these these things in such compact little power, power bricks is uh, honestly super impressive. Now, based on the packaging, product design, build quality, these adapters are very nice and could be a lifesaver for those who want to travel the world. Well, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. I hope y'all liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to use the links in the, in the, in the description uh, below. And uh, see y'all next time. Deuces!